Hey everybody, welcome back to Minta. This is Eric and in today's video we're going to cover the planner page. The planner page allows you to see all the posts that are now scheduled to be shared on your different social medias. As you can see right now it's empty. You can move between month on your calendar with this arrow at the top left corner. It's important to mention that both manually scheduled posts and auto posts are going to show in here. So let's cover all the ways to use this page and exactly how it's going to be. Let's get started with manual scheduled posts. I'm going to go to the create page. This is not a video about the create page. If you want to learn more about the create page, please check out our dedicated video tutorial about this page. Now let's just go to the first page and say that I want to share this one. I'm just going to click the share button. Now let's just say that I want to share this video because I really liked it. I'm going to click the share button. And as you can see, there are multiple options for me to share this video on social media. This is not a video about the sharing capabilities. So if you want to learn more about the sharing capabilities of Minta, just click the help video button on this section to learn more. Let's start from the list of pages to choose on which page that is connected to my account I want to post this post. In this page, I only have one or you can always create a new one, but I'm going to keep it at Tomorrowland 2017 because that's the only one that I have. A little bit outdated, but that's what we got. And for the caption, I'm just going to keep it as test post. And let's just add an emoji of, I don't know, this rainbow stuff. Um, now you have two options either to post it now, but because this is a video about the planner, I'm going to click on schedule and I'm going to select any date that I want. Let's say that I want to schedule this post for next Monday at 10 a.m. So I'm going to click on Monday, click done. Next, I'm going to select the hour or hours that I want to share this post at. Let's say that I want to post it at 11 a.m. So I'm going to remove 10 and keep it at 11 a.m. Now that I'm done, I'm going to see a preview of everything that's going to be happen. I can see that it's scheduled for Facebook at this date and time. This is the page. This is the caption. This is the preview of the video. You can edit everything from here if you want. And I'm just going to click apply to schedule this post. Great, my video is scheduled. Now you can either click on done and continue working from the Minta create page or you can just go to the planner. And as you can see, I have here the post that I scheduled for Monday the 5th at 11 a.m. If you wish to edit anything about this scheduled post, just click it. And from here, you can change everything you want about the video. Let's say that I want to change it to Tuesday instead of Monday. I'm going to click the drop down, click on Tuesday, click on done. I'm going to keep the hour the same and I'm going to click apply. And my video is now edited to Tuesday. This is everything you need to know about manually scheduling posts. Now let me show you what it looks like with auto post. I'm going to go to the auto post section. Now this video is not about auto posting, so I'm just going to go through it real quick. But if you wish to learn more about auto posting, just click the help video button on this page. I'm going to go to Facebook, connect my page, click apply. Now let's set the dates and times. Let's say that I want to post twice per day, skip Sunday and make it 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. I'm going to skip Sunday. And for Monday, let's just do, you know what, 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. And I'm going to hit apply. Next, I'm going to choose the collections from my store that I want to promote. Let's just um, take summer and tops and underwear. That's like, I don't know, 50 products. I'm going to click apply. Next, I'm going to choose the templates from Minta that I want the auto poster to use in order to create the videos. I'm just going to select a few more templates here. But of course, you need to pick the ones that you like. For the sake of the example, I'm just going to have a few. I'm going to click apply. And then you need to select captions. As you can see, these sections are dynamic, but I'm going to select all of them because I think all of them are good. I'm going to click apply and I'm going to set it live. Great. Facebook auto post is now live on this page. I'm going to click on done and go back to my planner. Now, this is what it looks like when you have a lot of posts scheduled to be shared. And this is just one channel. Imagine that you have four channels or more. Then, of course, you'll see even more scheduled posts around here. But just like in the manual post, you can click every of these posts, see exactly what it's going to look like, the preview, and change anything if you wish to. 
as you can see, only posts for the next two weeks are showing actual product previews and the rest of them are just showing some skeleton. And the reason for that is simple. In order to keep the data accurate from your store, make sure we only display products that are in store with the correct prices and the correct images. Minta only sync products two weeks in advance. Once we get to next week, Minta will automatically generate all the videos for the following week. So this is it guys, you now know anything you need to know about the Minta Planner. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please make sure to comment them in the comment section below and I promise we will answer each and every one of you. Also, if you need any help whatsoever, please make sure to reach out to our live chat support at the bottom right corner of the screen. We are available for you 24-7. Good luck with Minta and I'll see you on the next video.